Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Uh, and welcome to Arenbjorn. We're back on Skellige. I'm gonna do a few Witcher contracts today and probably in the next episode as well. And we're gonna start off with the Phantom of Aldberg. And we need to talk to a man named Jorunt. And apparently that starts it automatically. Sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this tavern. Um... What are you doing here then? Who burn? Not looking for trouble. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs, like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait out in the yard then. Till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Uh, I'm gonna shelter to punch you in the face. Disgraces himself and bring shame on his clan. Your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me dad, Yorant. Oh, I that's Yorant. You and you remember this stranger. This here's not Care Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. Okay then. Sounds bad for business, though. <laughs> You're not bothered by travelers? You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Sounds good, man. Okay, well, we need to talk to you anyway because of the contract you posted. So let's talk. Hi, Geralt. Um, <laughs> don't often get guests from the continent. The two who came pestering you. Well, me, actually. Who were they? Those two boys. The pesky ones. Who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome. As is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. Okay, that's clear. So, the monster contract you posted, let's talk about it. Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely. So we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikyel, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Well, crude steel had not do us much good there. I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Sounds good. Let's uh, haggle a bit about that reward. Say I like you, Yorand. But business is business. I'll need more than that. Um, so 246 is the starting rate. Let's put it up to... Well, he gathered some coins. Let's start at 310. Hmm. I can add a sum, but not near that much. So that's only slight annoying, so let's put it to 300. Okay. 290? God damn it. Uh, 280 then. Grand. Let's call it that. Shake on it. It was a weird close up that one, so I'll take the job. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. What to be said. Well, I did some scouring around in between recordings, and I think I already went to that lighthouse. There was a lot of fog there, and I turned back because I didn't want to trigger anything else. Investigate the Isle of Eldberg and find Mikyol, the lighthouse keeper. Uh, because of that scouring around that I did, uh, I also found two places of power, which added two more ability points for me to spend. Okay, so let's just upgrade this one, the protective coating, twice, and then we can only add one more to uh, finish that off. 
Uh, looks good, looks good. So also got a lot of experience in between. Um, which brings us very close to level 26. Uh, I think that's the lighthouse over, set over there, so we uh, have a ways off to go. So I'll see you guys over there. Well, over there. Well, god damn it. That kind of fucked up my, uh, my story, didn't it? Over there, you can see it in the distance in the fog in a minute. Funny thing is, because I uh, went here already, I kind of activated the... Uh, Waypoint already. Holy shit. Okay, that were uh, Wraith already. Killing it won't change a thing. Nope, it won't. So uh, let's go check out the Lighthouse Keeper, which should be... It's actually really cool, the fog that hangs around here. So let's go talk to the Lighthouse Keeper, which should be... Who should be in this shack down below here. Ooh, loot. Nothing of interest. Hello? Hey, anyone there? Okay, then did the door open on its own or oh no? How did you get here? What do you think? I teleported to island. that marker. You Mikyal, the lightkeeper? Jorand from Aaron Bjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when I'm nowhere. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Put okay. it back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel, Miguel. I look out, there's the wraith. Big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. Okay, that sounds terrifying. Um, the wraith, tell me more. This wraith, the big one, tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew, knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry, only saw it once. It disappeared right after. He knew everything? Everything about what? These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought him here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Even the music's terrifying at this the moment. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside. I'm getting the shivers. Some something. I'm getting the shivers. Okay. Um, this turned creepy all of a sudden. Explore the lighthouse using your witcher senses. I don't want to. Look at it, Jesus. I'm gonna suppose I'm gonna get a lot of wraiths in my face. So let's equip some specter oil. Okay. So, uh, it doesn't look that big. It has weird symbols on the side, though. Hello? Let's... okay, no. Unlock the door. There we go. Ooh, this place looks cramped. God damn it. Okay. Nothing of interest. Garlic swinging around here. Let's get on the ladder. God damn you with the music. Lots of drinks. You're not exactly on the ladder, are you, Geralt? But hey. Uh, more loot. That's about it. 
Oh god, I don't want to fight anything here. Um. Hmm. Doesn't look like much. What am I looking for? Because there's nothing really that... Oh, wait. A letter. A letter to Lighthouse Keeper. Got work for you, Mikjal. A ship's going to sail from Faro to Arenbjorn with a load of hides on board. At midnight you're to put out a light in the lighthouse and keep it dark until we give the sign with our torch. We'll split the loot, same as always. You'll get a tenth of what the sea tosses ashore. Till we meet again. Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. So, the lighthouse keeper turns off the light sometimes to uh, let ships crash ashore. And he splits the loot with a bunch of raiders, presumably. Where does this ladder go? Okay. Oh. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If he okay. kills the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Okay, so we probably need to get some oil from him as well. Ugly bastard. Let's keep Erden available. There we go. So the normal ones are easy enough. I'm not sure about that penitent we're gonna face. How that will uh, turn out. So let's get back to Mikyol. And uh, confront him with what we've learned. Because somebody was a bit mad that he turned off the lighthouse every now and then. Phew. It's just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes. Foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. The sink near the isle, at least the cargo don't go to waste. Oh, you're we'll come an back asshole. To that later. Just now I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I, Great. I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Perhaps you could. I'm gonna I'll use Axie you. on your face. Have no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go before I change my mind. Yeah, it's that or you die. Look there, it's him. I see it. Now shut oh, your mouth and go light the God. fire. Remember, you fail. The penitent will kill me and come for you. Okay. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Can I? Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, hi. So there he is. It's a light hose on already. Because it doesn't look like it. Doesn't look invincible though. Oh, God. Okay, you can't bury that thing. Time to get this done. Heal, 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 heal. Oh, God. And now my sword is broken. Great. Repaired. And die. Okay. That was more than annoying. I'm at this dust, mutagen, essence. Yeah, okay. Thanks for all of that. Oh god. That was heavy. Did, did it work? Well, it looks like it. it. Did, but that doesn't make the island safe. Because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Um, you gotta leave. Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... But... You're a criminal. You let people die. For God's sakes. I didn't give you a second chance. Criminal and a coward. So, I'm gonna loot this place and then I'm gonna head back to Yorant to uh, get our reward. So see you guys there in a second. So back in Aaron Bjorn, and we're gonna talk to Jorunt. And uh, I wonder if he can tell him what the lighthouse keeper was up to. Hello Jorunt. Hi Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Long story short, you'll need a new lightkeeper. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. Thank you, Jorunt. So, uh, see you next time. So long. So long. Goodbye. So we went really light over that uh, whole lighthouse keeper thing. Uh, I think we have time for another one. So uh, I'm gonna select the next one. Here comes the groom. Um, this is this one is a bit different because I found a cave with uh, certain marks, certain tracks. Uh, I think when we did the uh, bear school gear, uh, so we didn't have uh, contact in the first place. So I'm gonna head back to those caves and I'll see you guys there in a second. So those caves are located on the island of Spikerog. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've heard it a couple of times, but I keep forgetting how I should pronounce it. And, uh, well, let's go find out what we need. I think the entrance should be on shore somewhere. Yeah, over there. Come on. So let's keep uh, a roach over here, and I think this is the cave. Yeah, the marker keeps pointing me in this direction. So let's take a look. So I think we went around in these caves where we uh, were looking for the bear school diagrams. And I didn't want to do this quest yet. 
Melusine, the mad and dangerous Lady of the Depths. Ooh. Clearly used to be worshipped here. Interesting. They're not really what we're looking for, right? And there's something Strange on the ground here. Not your everyday siren. Same scales as on the altar. Melusine cult didn't appear out of nowhere. The kitten has been living here a while. Went into hibernation some time ago, but it's awake now. And it's hungry. Okay. Melusine. So we uh, check out the bestiary in the mountains near the village of Svorlok in Skellige lies an enormous complex of caves. For many centuries, they were given wide berth on account of the bloodthirsty echidna known as Melusine, who had made them into her lair. Melusine was a beast so powerful, some islanders worshipped her as a semi-divine being. The witch, however, harbored no such delusions. He knew she was an extremely powerful monster, but a monster all the same. This meant she could be killed. To do so, he would need the highest quality of bolts, a solid silver blade, and a steady hand. So grape shot. Hybrid oil, igni, and ard. Interesting. Uh, I might as well pop some uh, cats. Because this place is a bit dark. Although. You know what? It kind of clears up here a bit. So I might as well try and do it without. Because uh, it drains the color out of every image. Oh, wait. So this goes back outside. Never mind, I'll equip cat. Since I now have a superior cat, I'm also immune to hypnosis when I'm under the effects of the potion. So I might as well go around here. Okay. So those just look like drowners to me. Oh god! Yeah, that was an explosive. Okay, my tracking is a bit off. But never mind that. So yeah, everything looks a bit weird with a uh, cat enabled. Was there something on the floor here? No. Okay. So it looks like I can even head outside here, which is annoying with cat enabled. So I'm going to immediately equip the hybrid oil as well, and then I'll use white honey to clear cat's effect, because this looks like we're in the right place. A quick save, Quen enabled, and a dead soldier on the floor. Dropped from on high. Wonder who this is. I hear wings flapping. Oh, gold. You look, um. Okay, she's not dropping. Ooh, she's really not dropping. So let's try something else, because this is clearly not working. There we go. Ooh, now she's in for it. There we go. That was pretty easy once you got her down. Florence. Wait a second. Was this enough? Oh yeah, here she is. Seashell, water essence, lock of Lamia hair. Trousers, and let's cut off her head. We're still a ways from her corpse, but hey. Chop away. Okay, collect your reward from Kevin. Hmm, okay then. 
So I suppose I see you guys over there. So back at the village, if Roach would uh, get down the stairs. This is Kevin, I presume. Hello, sir. See you not from round here. What's brought ye to Speaker Rock? Speaker Rock. Read your notice. Heard you've got a job for a witcher. Aye. My sister's near drilled a hole in me, got pestering me. I hung a notice, hoping she'd let up. Truth be told, didn't really expect anyone to take an interest. What's this about? My sister's betrothed. He's disappeared. Folks say he done a runner. Sis claims she saw a beast carry him off. Well, um, she was right because he was dropped from a mile up. Found an old echidna in a cave on the shore. Tough beast, but I killed it. Treacherous, those caves. Folk used to make sacrifices to men you seen there. So Brit spoke the truth, and echidna napped her nils. Feel like a damn fool now, not believing me own sis. Take this. Hard work deserves payment. Thank you, Farewell. sir. And well, I might not believe my own sister as well if she told me her boyfriend was snagged away by some monster. So, bless you. So I don't really uh, hold it against him. So, that's two contracts done again in one episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video right here on YouTube because I'm going to take a little break. And if you haven't already, uh, give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!